Hey guys, this is Shara Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So, I just finished my Inktober challenge a week ago or a week or two ago. Um, and I decided to do a sketchbook flip through of Inktober. It's super late, probably not relevant anymore, but I still feel super proud of myself for being able to finish it despite feeling the challenge midway. But as I mentioned, or if you've been watching my videos, I did decide to continue to stick it up and try to finish the challenge despite it being December already. So this could be a bonus video or a regular video, I'm not 100% sure. Depends on I get this edited or if I'm able to upload it. I ideally want it as a bonus video since um, this is probably going to be pretty short. So let's get started. So I started my Inktober challenge with making a cover as usual. That's just like a section header of sorts. And it was meant to be a bit, uh, a bit of a throwback to the one I did in 2016, which, I, which is somewhat similar actually. So it has like some of that triangular thing, and the way um, it's set up is more or less the same. So day one was swift, yes. So I might just do a flip through, or I might take comments every now and then, but um, I'll try to make this quick. So I wanted to add a little color and all of that. I was a bit ambitious with the posing. But this is a bit more... They, this was divided. And I really wanted to create this contrast between the character herself. This is one of my favorites. This was Poison. I really like how the color scheme turned out. I also found out that Rhodia isn't very particularly good for water-based stuff. So I had to deal with that. This was Deep. Another one of my favorites, I might color this digitally later on, or I might scan it and print it or fix up that little blob there. We'll see. Um, this was long, and I decided to do long hair. This was sword, and despite me liking to design swords and stuff, for some reason, it was also one of the reasons why I stopped in October. I was feeling pretty uninspired, and I had to trudge through it. So I did draw a sword, but it was it's not my best work. This was shy, yeah. And I really went for the Maria Clara um, shy, demure lady feel. I do like this how this, how this turned out. I might remake it digitally. Here is starting to wear down a little. This was uh, crooked, so I made it a crooked wand and tree-esque stuff. This was rage, or screech, just screech. Uh, decided to go with watercolors. I used to put a clay watercolors for this and this. Um, I really wanted to use color for this one, so despite it being October, I ended up using watercolor. This was Run. Um, I took a short break between Screech and Run a couple of days, and I caught this caught up. And I really do like how this turned out, especially with the colors, and I stuck with a limited color pad of reds and orange and yellows. This was Shattered. Yes, I remember it somewhat. Um, it was supposed to be a continuation of the sword one. You know the characters are different. Um, it's sort of like their sword broke. Oh no. Here is getting lazy, obviously. I used my favorite castle pit artist pens. And this is theming. So like, theming could be... Like, I don't know. It's supposed to, it's usually an emotion, I think. But whatever. I was getting lazy. This was gigantic. And it didn't really come through, but I wanted to do a giant teddy bear. This was fierce and like, I was inspired with this one, like, yes girl, work it, levels of fierce. I do like, really do like how this particular piece turned out. My pen bled since I wasn't really planning to color it in, but I was so inspired by it that I did end up watercoloring it, so there is some bleeding. This was mysterious. Anatomy is wonky, but whatever. <laughs> Again, you can sort of see the ebb and flow of my energy and my motivation to do this. Um, obviously, this is just the brush pen. It was fat. I didn't want to do anything fat, so I made a flat, fluffy bunny. Um, it's unique, but I'm not particularly proud of it, especially since I know what I was feeling when I made it. This was graceful. Um, I have a character. He's a guy that he draw when he dances like... A common recurring theme that ends up happening is he has like ribbons attached to him, so he's like a gymnast. You know, he's not, he's a dancer, but like 
you know how gymnasts play around with ribbons when they uh, perform that vibe of sorts this was filthy I didn't really want to take it literally so I just like went with the with a similar idea so like when you're working with plants you tend to get a bit dirty and filthy quote unquote meh this was cloud and this is my really quick not super planned out take on a jigin gig G G G G G G G G G G Altaria. <laughs> so fluffy and cute and cloud and like I remember the Altaria's description has something to do with clouds and like it's feathers are like clouds or something like that. This was deep. Oh wait, so the one earlier wasn't deep, it was underwater. This is deep. And for some reason like you know those like uh potted those pots, those, 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 um, clay pots, those huge clay pots, um, you see this everywhere, like, here in the provinces, you see them very often. I'm not 100% sure what you use for them, like, my parents told me that they use them for, like, when you want to ferment stuff, but it's like this deep, dark hole of darkness, so I wanted to play with that idea. This was furious, and it was supposed to be like he slapped someone, but I was tired and losing motivation, so that didn't really end up conveying that. And then I ended up stopping uh, Inktober from there, day 21. And it took me like a week, to, I guess two weeks, at, I think. And at that point, I already failed the challenge. I couldn't keep up anymore. I couldn't draw every day anyway. And then I had this idea of like, hey, let's just continue it. Who cares? So I did continue it a couple of weeks later. And this is trail. And as you can see, the quality is a bit better. Composition is better. It's not up to part of my usual stuff yet, though. I am starting to put a bit more effort. And my anatomy seems to improve a little bit from that break. Because I was sick, among other things. This was juicy. And I do like how this turned out. I used colored pencils. Um, and some colored ball, uh, colored liners just to get this effect. And I do like how this turned out, especially the hair. Like, I love the contrast. This is uh, blind. So if you were, if you didn't watch the video, and I didn't really specific, specifically say who this was in that video, but this is a fan art of V from Mystic Messenger. Yes, I was trash for that for a little while though. I wasn't trash enough to draw stuff. But I was pretty trashed in as trash for it for a while. Uh, this is ship. So this is Francis Drake from Fate Extra and Fate Grand Order and Fate Extella and Fate Extra. She, she's part of the Fate franchise and another one of those historical figures that they gender bent. Pretty cool character though. I love her character. Uh, this is Queek. And if you watch the video for this, I mentioned that I wasn't. This is one of the things where I end up just taking the basic idea or something connected to Squeak and end up with a mouse girl of sorts. I do like her outfit though. I like the gold parts. So I'm running out of this gold pen. This is Climb. And I will reuse the joke of Sin das Essen und Wind sind sind I can't German, but it was a quote from the song for Shingeki no Kyojin or The Hand Titan where they sing like Sin das Essen und Wind sind die Jäger which means something like we are the hunt they are the hunter no they are the hunted or something like that <laughs> because of the this, the ropes looks like the 3D maneuver gear anyway this fall and I really wanted to go to fall like I, this one despite being somewhat similar to the bunny one was a bit more well planned out when I drew this I had the idea and the vibe that I wanted to go with so um, my, sh my lines are shaky since I'm not used to brush pen but conceptually I got out what I wanted to get out now this was supposed to be united but I didn't really feel like drawing anything united-esque I, I just didn't feel like it and I just wanted to draw one of my characters so this is my original character uh, Kin Arena you might have seen him have I uploaded any video of him? I'm not sure, but you might have seen him here and there. And the 30 should have been found. But again, I didn't really want to draw found, so I ended up drawing another fake character, specifically his brother, older brother, and 
this was sort of an experiment. I wanted to do like those lighting things where it has like a different color and it affects the colors around it. So I wanted to do that, but I didn't really, I didn't really implement it properly. So I guess I'll experiment with that eventually. But you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So we're on the last day. This one of my best pieces for Inktober, aside from like the start and stuff. Uh, as I did last year, I tend to go all out on day 31. And the theme for this was mask. So it's one of my OCs though, I do keep to the theme of the mask itself. And I'll show you actually what I did for last year. So last year, I started getting lazy as well. And I did some purchases. Like, bam, 31 is always like the all out effort stand out from the rest type of thing since I got to use color again and I always like to deviate a little on the last day so I tried to keep up with that tradition and like really went out with this honestly on its own it could have been a, been a speed bank but I just decided to lump it with everything else so that's the end of Inktober for me um what did I learn um it's okay to fail. I, I did an entire video on that. I uh, just check the playlist for Inktober or you can check the, my channel. Uh, it's like, it's I feel Inktober. And I also have another one that says like, it's okay to fail. Um, where I do discuss my feelings about it. What else did I learn? Um, I've learned how to use my brush pen. And I bought this specifically for Inktober. It's a Kuretake Cambio brush pen. Not the glare. It's cool. Eh? I can't read that part. Kanji, 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 <laughs> So eh, I can't read it that much, but it's a Kuretake Kambio brush pen. Oh, nice. It auto focuses. Thank you, camera. -san. And yeah. So because it's, it's heavy actually, and it's pretty thick and compared to my. Um, my water brushes, which are pretty light. I had a hard time controlling this a little because it was like heavy. So like trying to get those really thin lines was really tough for me since like I had to really control and stiffen my my arm to stop it from like just like swishing over the place to get really fine lines like I guess you could do the hair like that and not have it like swish all over the place. There was a lot of control into that. But did I enjoy Inktober? Honestly, not as I as much not as much as I did last year. Like last year, I had a lot more fun with it, and my my circumstances were a bit different back then. But I don't know. I still enjoyed the fact that I managed to finish it. And this video is getting long, so is this uploaded anywhere? It's on my Instagram, so please please check it out over there. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. As you can see, I do a lot of watercolor even though it's Inktober. Um, I do a lot of fan art. Well, I do occasional some fan art. Um, character designing. I branch out to other things every now and then. So I hope you would join me on this artistic journey. And follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or DeviantArt. And I will see you around.